What's up, guys? It's your girl, Samaya. Uh, come on the video. So, today, I have my cell phone. Anyways. Really? Anyway, so don't, don't be talking about my cell phone. But, um, I'm, what I am fin to do, I'm finna, uh, oh, dang, I forgot that really. Um, I'm um, what I'm, what I'm finna do here today. to do a story time but before i start this story time let me go get you some food and drinks huh? i'll be right back just give me a moment and yes i got on pants shorts and a hoodie i mean shorts and a hoodie not pants but um i'm gonna eat me some uh some cheddar And I mixed it together to see what would happen. And it's like just like a weird color. That's it. <laughs> Nothing special. But anyways, um, so I got my snack. So I'm finna tell you about my um what do I want to tell y'all about? I'ma tell you about my first fight. Okay, so I was in when I had my first fight, I was in fourth grade. Now in the fourth grade, that year wasn't really too much of a great year for me because I was like constantly getting suspended and constantly getting trouble. I'm not bragging about that because that year is actually a year that I do not want to remember, like whatsoever. Like if somebody took away my memories, that would be one of the memories that I do not ever want to remember. Because like I I ooh what this I just got three alerts because I'm on my mom's computer and I just got an alert about Darman posting a video. But anyways, so in on the story. So there was this girl named Kirsten. She was a white girl. And she was like she was like a Regina George. Yeah, she was like a Regina George. She was constantly meeting to meet now. Me and her were friends in kindergarten. All the way up to third grade. No, all the way up to second grade. Cause in third grade, she was pretty she was pretty much of a brat. We constantly had beef. Me and my cousins and my friends constantly had beef with her. So huh. Mm, it tastes good. But me and my cousins, we constantly had beef with her. And and it was like I was like thinking like Bro. Now, at the time, at the time, I would hang with girls. I was hanging with girls. But then, I started hanging with boys. As I got into, like, higher grades, I started hanging with boys. I'm in sixth grade now, and I still hang around boys, but, like, mainly boys. So, and no, I was not trying to get close with any boys because I, I, I had a crush on this boy named Tiny, but we never dated. But, um. But, um, anyways, so, yeah, but I'm joking, we never dated, actually, never, <laughs> I'm joking now. My mom, if you see this, I never dated anybody, so don't believe what I just said, because I never dated anybody, never, ever, ever in a lifetime, never. Now, back to the video. Anyways, so, um, yeah, so, she was a beefer, and, uh, as I got into the high, I first started hanging out with boys when I was in third grade. And as I got to high grades, when I was in fourth grade, boys, I hung with boys. Fifth grade, I think in third grade, I was not that close with boys. In fourth grade, I got cl like closer with the boys because I would play with them, hang with them, talk with them, and stuff like that. Fifth grade, we was like besties, best friends. We were buddies. In fifth grade, 
Oh, yeah. And since Greg, we bonded, bro. We are bonded for life. Inseparable. But, um, anyways, back to the story. So, yeah, so, um, she was always making beef. So, fourth grade, she got really, really angry, and I was constantly having beef for her, constantly having beef for her. She was always talking about us, saying something about us, and talking about how she wants to fight people and stuff like that. Not kind of ignore her when she fight threats. Kind of ignore her with that. Because, like, bro, I did not care about, like, if you if you want to fight, I'm not going to fight you. And I'm not going to get under here and say, okay, if you want beef, then we can have beef. No, I'm not going to do that because if I didn't pick a fight with you or, or anything like that, now, nah, I'm going to tell you. I'm hot-headed. My sisters and my brothers, my brother, he the one who will tell you, leave him alone, leave him alone. If you don't leave him alone, that's what he'll lose his temper. My sister, she one of those peaceful, she one of those peaceful people, something like that. She's like, violence does not solve the answer. I'm like, girl, go sit down. But anyways, but um, back to the story. But yeah, but my my me and my brother were high heads. Well, I'm I'm the one who loses my temper easily. So one day we was in art. I mind my business, you know, chilling, finna finna paint up some stuff. But you know, at the time I was kind of upset because I forgot what I was mad for about. Oh, I'll tell you why I was mad. I was mad because when we was in art. My friend, my friend, her name's Alea, and she's like my best friend. She's one, she was one of my best friends. I had met her when I was in third grade. I can tell you the words that I met all of my friends, but I'm not going to tell I'll tell you that probably, like, at the end of the story. So, anyways, we're in art. So, Kirsten comes up behind me and says something. You said something. You said something. You said something. So, I'm still walking. My mom is not even, not, not even paying attention to a thing she says. So, I'm minding my business. My mom is keep on walking. Get in my seat. This girl's still standing there. So, everybody looking at me. And they give me the eye. They're like, they give me the like, so you're going to be here up or what? So I'm, I'm still sitting there trying to keep my peacefulness because at the, at the time I was really already mad because I forgot what I was mad for. I think I had got my recess taken away or I had silence or something. But anyway, something happened. I forgot what I was mad, but I was mad already. And I, I was really on the verge of getting a whole attitude with just everybody. But um, I I was mad, so I didn't want nobody to bother me. So I was like, you know what? This is just my luck. This girl has to bother me, bro. Has to bother me. So, I get up on my chair. I'm like, Kirsten, please get out of my face. Please, please, just, please let me know. Please. So, she, she's still standing there with her arms crossed. Her so, I, so, you know what I did? I pushed her behind. I pushed her. Yep, I pushed her. I pushed her. I pushed her. Her back hit the table. She pushed me back. I pulled her hair. Bro, this whole entire story, I'm going to tell you. Her hair was on the desk. Bro, that's how mad I was. I pulled out her hair. That's how mad I was. Because, like, I was having the worst day ever. I was so mad. And then she just had to come up and still be aggravated. Like, girl, go sit down. Don't nobody want beef with you. Go sit down. Go sit down looking like a bunny. Looking like a bunny. Go sit down. And, like, I'm over here thinking, like, girl, why, why are you trying to make beef with me? Like, I ain't do nothing to you. I ain't saying nothing to you. Sure, I might have looked at you, but all I did was look at you. I can't look at you. Like, is it illegal to look at people? But, anyways, so, then, so that's when we start fighting. So, my teachers come in. They're like, hey, 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 stop, stop, y'all fight. Stop, y'all fight, because ain't nobody got time for this. But, like, I get sent to, no, actually, no, after I finished pulling out her hair, and the teacher saw what was happening. I just walked out of the classroom. Like, I picked up my stuff and I just walked out of the classroom. Because at that time, I was so mad. I was like, to the point where I was like, bro, if anybody else, ever, bro, like, if anybody else talks to me, bro, you just getting slapped. Like, that, I was at that point. But, but like, everybody, they was looking like, well, Kirsten was the one who started. So, like, like what's going on? What y'all got going on? What's going on? But, like, yeah, so she had made me super mad that day, but um, I didn't. We had went to office. So my mom comes. I'm in the office eating lunch, you know. So my mom comes and guess what? My mom sits. My mom sits down, right? 
bites off half my corn dog, right? And she looks at me. And she be like, so who won? I looked at her. I looked, mama, I was like, huh, come again. She said, she, I said, huh? She said, who won? I said, I did. <laughs> but, no, because I was surprised. Because, like, to be honest, I actually thought my mom was going to beat me in front of everybody. And, like, literally cuss me out in front of everybody. Because my mom was the type of mom, she, she will beat you in front of anybody. And won't care who's watching. And I'm no cap. She won't care who's watching. She will beat your butt and not care who's watching whatsoever. So I'm, I'm kind of sitting here like, hey, yo, is that my mom? Like, I'm over here like, I know Among Us didn't come out at that time, but I'm like, yo, is you an imposter on Among Us, bro? <laughs> nah, I'm joking. But I was kind of happy. But then Kirsten's mom and her little baby sister came, and her baby sister is, like, really, really cute. She's, like, so cute. And, yeah, so Kirsten apologizes to me. I'm like, I did accept her apology because I didn't want no more beef. But, it, like, when we got in fifth grade and stuff, bro, she was just a beefer. A beefer. Because, like, one day she came to my classroom. I had to switch classes at one point because of Kirsten. Well, I was in fourth grade, I think. Good was I was in fourth grade, I also had beef. I also had beef with this religious girl, but I'll tell you about that in another story time, which will probably be tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, so, I had, um, uh, so she came to my classroom one day when I was in fifth grade. And he talked to me, Miss Jesus had somebody had salad lunch and all we said. And then when she walked out, she rolled her eyes, and then when she walked out of the room, she was like, no. And all of my friends, I was sitting with my friends, and all of my friends looked at me like, well, what she got going on? Why she rolling her eyes and slamming those and jump? I'm looking like, yeah, what you got going on? But um, I didn't do it like that. And yeah. But um, yeah. But that was my story time. But I just felt the need to share that story time, guys. Um. I hope you like this video if you see it. But please like it. I know I ain't got one of those little pretty backgrounds like the other YouTubers. But um, please like this video. Thank you. And thanks for listening to my story time. Peace out, y'all.